one of the things I liked about when you you came into Impact Wrestling, they immediately treated you like a top star, and and did throughout the the entirety of that. And that is sort of a she is who we all thought she was type of situation because you delivered at that level. You, you were given the ball and you ran with it. Now you're doing that again. How does this feel in comparison to that? Because uh, we had mentioned in NXT, they never really did give you that ball. Mm -hmm. These two companies, they, they sort of have. How would you uh, compare those two as uh, you're still early in this AEW run? Yeah, I think I think I was able to come into Impact and it was still the pandemic, so there wasn't fans and it very much lent towards forgiveness in terms of like, if I didn't like something that happened in the ring or I didn't like the way I sounded, it was very easy to stop and ask to redo it. Um, and although I didn't do that often, that possibility was there. Um, we did a lot more in Impact Now TNA with social media and things like that, that um, I was able to have a little bit of grace while I was growing into the role that they were giving me. Um, now, fast forward, I'm thrust into this, this new environment. I'm adjusting to all of the things that come with it. And then, you know, there is so many more eyes on me on a weekly basis. I'm, you know, the thing that with Impact was a lot of people didn't know where to watch it. A lot of people didn't know how to watch it. Here, we are on a, a national cable network every single week, no matter what show I'm on, and there's so many more eyes on me, um, which means there's so much more chatter about me, whether it's positive or negative. Um, so I just feel a ton more pressure to constantly go out there and put my best foot forward to warrant the position that I've been given because I understand that I'm very lucky yeah. for that. Um, but then also, yeah, just like I bet on myself time and time again, it might have been an easier route to stay in impact where I was comfortable, where I knew everyone and I knew the position that I was in, but you grow in uncomfortability, right? And that's what I think that I've been able to do over the last two months is take this situation that I'm, I'm growing in mentally, physically, emotionally, all the things I'm, I'm trying to do my best and put my best foot forward, but I'm growing and I'm learning about myself. And, and um, that's what's most exciting to me.